Hey everyone, I'm Bill. And I'm Buck. And we're with Calimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the most exclusive event that we've probably attended because, well, you may hear the echo, we're at the Ducati Ready for Ready event here in San Francisco. And well, we have a uh, showroom full of bikes and no one is here. We've got an exclusive look at some of Ducati's most anticipated bikes for 2022. And we're gonna give you a first look at some of them and uh, walk around and well, We've got a couple bikes on order that are here today that we've never actually seen. Some of you guys know one of them, but uh, the other one's gonna be a big surprise. I'm not gonna spoil it at all. It's Bogna's bike. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and walk through and go over uh, some of the best, most anticipated bikes for 2022 here at the Ready for Ready event. All right, guys, well, this is a bike of no surprise. You guys are familiar with this bike. The all new 2022 Ducati uh, Street Fighter V4 SP. Wow. All right, I will tell you this, hold on. I will tell you this. I actually, I'm a little stunned by the first look of this. I wasn't quite expecting to have a reaction that I am right now. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. So they've already got it equipped. Now from the dealer, uh, we're starting to see these show up at the dealer. Uh, the dry clutch is behind the uh, the cover. Now you can see that they include the uh, dry clutch cover uh, in carbon here, but a lot of carbon bits. You've got the carbon heel rest, you've got the carbon mud flaps. And then of course, going up to the front, you've got the carbon here and uh, the stainless steel tank but don't forget the biggest carbon piece that they've added to the SP is the BS, uh, BST uh, carbon wheels, absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, and I really love the brushed aluminum tank. A lot of people, I've seen people do it in the Street Fighters before, but just gorgeous. And this is of course outfitted with some uh, Ducati performance accessories that comes with the bike. And then of course the carbon, um, the, uh, the carbon um, winglets, and it does have the, uh, I'm not sure exactly the brand, but they've got the uh, aftermarket rear sets. I mean, honestly, this is a bike that, me, throw an exhaust on it, it's turnkey. Uh, and like I said, these are showing up at dealers right now. They are available and uh, limited edition to how many bikes? 500? I'm, I'm not sure, yeah. Not a limited edition, but um, you know, available now. So if you guys are interested, here in the US, they're showing up at dealers. Head over to your dealership uh, and get your order in, but let's head over to the next bike. All right, and bike number two is the most anticipated for me to see and Bogdan to see because, well, we've had this bike on order for the last four months and uh, we have not seen this in person yet. We've I've seen videos, I've seen Tons of stuff. We're anticipating this within the next couple weeks to show up at ANS uh, for delivery. But this is our next bike on the channel, the all new 2022 Ducati Street Fighter V2 is finally here. And oh boy, it is gorgeous. Now again, uh, this is outfitted with uh, some accessories. We'll walk through that here in a second, but let's just take a look now. The um, Street Fighter, has got basically the, the standard V twin or the L twin motor. Um, we're looking at a slightly detuned uh, motor at about 153 horsepower. So very close to the Panigale V2. Of course, we've got the black wheels and the red paint. Uh, Bogna's V2 had the white with the red wheels, which was a very cool accent. We actually have a set of red wheels. We may throw it on ours, but um, very nice undertail ex or uh, underbelly exhaust, very clean. And of course, this is outfitted with a couple of Ducati performance parts like the windscreen and the uh, carbon fiber front fender. And uh, let's see what else. Just so you guys know, all analog suspension, sash front suspension, and rear suspension. Basically, I mean, looking at it now, I mean, we're just at home with this because we've got, of course, got the Panigale V2 at the house. Now, these are showing up uh, in the next two weeks at the dealerships here in the US. Uh, word is that the boat has hit the land uh, in New York and they're starting to be distributed. So word is, is that we will have ours in the next couple weeks. 
What do you think? She's excited. She, you know, Bogna loves the V2. Uh, the Panigale V2 is her favorite bike and very cool to see this. And it's just, I mean, it's, it's actually pretty crazy because you look at the side of this bike and you look at the profile and you see a Panigale V2 without the lower fairings. And then of course our Street Fighter front end. So very cool, very cool. But uh, let's head on to another bike that uh, we're very excited for and very excited to see in the 2022 collection. And uh, let's see, we might have a little special announcement for that one. All right guys, now for bike number three, I have to tell you, I'm super excited to get my hands on this because Alex with Ducati North America has told me I will be getting uh, the use of one of these once he gets a demo in. Um, but uh, I have heard very good reviews about this bike. And you guys know we've had the 2021 model. Actually, we had it when Bogna actually bought her 2021 V2. But without further ado, the all new 2022 Ducati Panigale V4S. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Now I've always liked the Panigale. And uh, I, I just, I don't know. I just don't know really why I haven't bought one. Um, but it's definitely a bike that I've fallen in love with since 2018. So of course we've got the electronic suspension, um, the digital display, of course, which has been up, updated. The suspension's been updated. Uh, of course, you can look at it and see all of the bodywork and aerodynamics been upgraded on this more wings, uh, more aerodynamics on the wings and more cooling on the uh, side fairings to allow more cooling in and out to keep a little bit more heat off the tush. Looks like they may have added these I'm, uh, uh, for this year. I know that they come on all of them. It's not an accessory, but I kind of like the red touch on the, uh, the hand grips. And of course the big thing is this tank and the narrowness of the tank. So I really want Bogna to sit on the bike because um, this is where Bogna kind of had a struggle on the V4 because of the, the width of the tank. So it's much narrower now and a nice, I mean, it looks like it actually is, it's a big bike. I, you know, looking from the front, we saw this is a big bike, but it's a very good fitting bike for the smaller person now because they've narrowed it down in the tank allows you to sit a little bit more into the bike, which is a big thing for me. Personally, I kind of like that bike that you kind of sit into. I don't like the bikes like the R1s that you sit up on top of. Ducati's really nailed it with putting this uh, seat height just a little bit lower with the tank. Um, just absolutely gorgeous, I love it. A little bit more uh, bump and horsepower, 210 horsepower. And then um, they're adding uh, the Akapovic under, ta under tail exhaust this year, which adds another like 18 horsepower. So it's like 228 horsepower that you can get out of a stock motorcycle with simply doing an exhaust system from Ducati. So very, very cool. And um, I can't, I can't wait to get on one. It really, honestly, it's, uh, hopefully they come in soon. Uh, dealers are talking about early to mid April for deliveries on the v, uh, V4S here in the United States. But uh, we've got one more that we really are excited about and that's up on center stage. So let's go take a look at our last bike for today. All right guys, and on center stage is a pretty exciting bike. Now, I just started reading up on this bike. It's not hmm, my cup of tea. Uh, you guys know I would really love sport bikes, but we've been getting into the dirt bike riding and uh, I read all the specs on this and it is an impressive bike. All new for 2022, the Ducati Desert X is here. And this is, this is just straight out of the 80s. The design, I really love the design that they have on this thing. And um, of course they've gone with the 21 inch front wheel, 19 inch rear wheel. They've got the 950 or the 937 CC motor, basically the same motor that they've got in the Super Sport, 110 horsepower. But this is what's really, really cool is the dash, a five and a half inch display dash in the vertical um, you know, direction. Very, very cool, all LEDs. You can see it's just kind of going through some of the different uh, styles. Let's see if it's got the, the standard. Of course, then you can keep the parking lights on. That's very cool. And then the startup of the Desert X. 
Very cool, the windscreen, just the details on this bike. Now seeing it in person is very, very cool. And again, uh, 937 cc's, 110. But what's great is that they left all of the electronic suites on this. Look at those headlights are super cool. Of course, iconic, you guys have been seeing these headlights everywhere Ducati has released, been releasing this, so very cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's for me, um, if I had to have a dirt bike, this is the dirt bike to have. So, um, Let's get out of the light real quick. But um, we got to wrap things up here. Uh, the Ducati Ready for Red event. Uh, thank you guys so much for having us a little bit early. Um, we're going to show you guys some footage of when this thing is going to be hopping. But uh, five of four, five, four bikes, super anticipated. We've got one more over here that we didn't show you only because we're getting ready to get a demo on the uh, Multistrada Pikes Peak. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for uh, joining us here at the Ready for Red. If you guys haven't already, go on Ready for Red, go on Ducati's website, look up their event. They've got a ton of events. They're heading out of here and they're starting to head up north to Washington. And, um, and I think they're heading back over. So make sure you guys get signed up for the uh, few final uh, Ready for Red events that they have. But thank you guys for sticking around. Do the normal, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, ring the bell notification. Bell notification is gonna give you future notification of future content. Of course, comment down below. Let us know what is your favorite bike. If you could have one of bike that is in here, what would that bike be and why? Comment that down below. And um, I, I'll see you when we get the Street Fighter and uh, I can't wait. So thank you guys again. Thank you Ducati for having us out early and uh, we'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.